Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all oh, blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why, I call God a higher. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 beautiful scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. Brothers and sisters, Israel is the name of the Gentiles. It's the Gentiles that change um saying that jacob name was changed to israel not true proper name is yah yashahel that is the name so i greet all the hebrew yashahelites hallelujah all over the world to four corners of the earth even in the wicked diaspora i greet you all in the precious name of our soon coming king Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, hallelujah, whom our great king is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ, all right? You can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping now, all right? So, um... Yes, so because no, some people don't like to listen to the housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else in the comment section without that pretending to be me without the tick, especially without the tick by the name. That's a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them, all right? Um, please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. And also, I do something called the top 20. Any beautiful beloved in the most uh, higher underneath any video, I give you a little shout out. All right, a shout out to your name, top 20. It's more than 20, but, you know, I'll give you a little shout out. Continue to like the videos, brothers and sisters. Share them. Use the comment section. Communicate. All right, it just helps with the rhythm, algorithm on this channel, really and truly. Because we're a shadow band, isn't it? Um, please subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell notification button and clicking all as well. Thank you for those of you who have blessed me through PayPal and through other means. Um, listen, it's been my bread and butter. It really has. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Heaven knows. Ahaya, bless you all. Glory be to the Most High. All right. Um, we are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful, glorious, magnificent, amazing Messiah. But we're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist, the lawless one, brothers and sisters. Daniel chapter 7. Please take that scripture very seriously. Daniel chapter 7 verse 24 tells you, Satan through the Antichrist will change times, laws, and season. The devil is going to rule this world. There will be no Holy Spirit. At least in 2022, the glory of the Lord is still on the earth. The Holy Spirit is still here. Imagine, in, imagine if he were gone. I mean, we're living in dark times now. But at that time, no Holy Spirit. No God the Father, no Ahaya the Father, no Ahaya the Son. Have to make sure your anchor holds. Have to make sure you're, you're found worthy. You pray and found worthy to escape the things coming upon the earth. Because it's going to be bad. Escape root is Revelation 12, the woman. Revelation 6 verse 12 is about the sixth seal. When the sixth seal is open. Yesiah is in the clouds of glory. That's it. But something happened before the sixth seal. And it's something called the great worldwide second exodus. Have to pray to be found worthy. The second exodus is about the Hebrew. Yashahelites. That's going to be regather. Ahia says he's going to regather the remnant of Jacob. It is going to happen. You have to pray to be found worthy to escape. It is very, very close. Amen. Hallelujah. We have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy taught me. When I was a little girl, fitting song for these end time, well, fitting song for this um, end time channel called We Are Near. And the song goes like this. Oh, now you are on there. You are on there. You are on there. Oh, now you are, oh, now you are, 
Oh, there you are, oh, there. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with red confidence. Our brothers and sisters, remember, I have two ministries, isn't it? One for the end time prophetic ministry, where I talk about the Antichrist, fallen angel, mark of the beast, tsunami, earthquake, dirty celebrities, everything that's wicked, all right? And the second ministry, the Hebrew, hmm, yeah, Shahelites, all right, scattered to the four corners of earth. So, we're going to talk about the end times now. In the next coming up videos that I'm going to do, it is going to be about me mommy's prophecies. Oh, I'll tell you, brothers and sisters, listen to me. I give a higher honor, glory, and praise to hear these prophecies that the Most Star is giving me. Mom, come, my mom is a prophetess as well, isn't it? And she gets vision, dreams, and revelation. All right. And when you see that, the, when you see a higher gives her a vision, or right, the only reason she don't share it, well, she share it through me, and I use my platform because she don't have a. She does have a YouTube, isn't it? And what of you? She's 80 odd years old. So I said, just tell me your visions and I'll tell them on behalf of yourself what the Lord is saying. But the coming up videos that I'm going to do is about my mommy's prophecies. Powerful. Very powerful. So I'm going to share this one. My mom had a vision. She, um, I'm surprised she didn't tell me this. She probably forgot real and truly. But, um... She had a vision one month ago. So in November, she had this vision. And she said, she said in the vision she was walking. And she saw, she, first of all, she said she saw some group of people with babies or, or children in their hands. Walking towards her. Just have these little, little ones in her hands, in their hands, just walking towards her. And she said in the vision, the Lord gave her the scripture to go with the vision. Hold on one second. I want to read the scripture, brothers and sisters. Just bear with me. I just got my iPad slow. Just a minute. All right. Just a minute, brothers and sisters. If I can't find it, I'm gonna. All right. So, Revel... no revelation. Saint Matthew, isn't it? Saint Matthew. Twenty-four. Saint Matthew twenty-four. She said, and she saw the people coming with the children. She said the Most High gave her a scripture as she was looking at these people, these babies and little children, coming towards her. And um, she said, the Lord gave her, said Matthew 24, verse 9. The Bible reads, King James Version. And woe unto them that are with child. And to them that what? Gave a sock in those days. And she said, that's all the vision was. And she woke up out the vision. She came out the vision. So she said in her spirit, she perceived that something is going to, something is kicking off with the little ones. And I said to her, I said, <laughs> I said, mom, I said, mom, right now in Babylon, UK, there is a, a disease that's going about. That's really taking some of the children's little lives. And it's called strep A. And I said, this is a disease that don't really normally affect children or anybody. It lives on your skin, goes in the back of your throat, and you're good to go. You're okay. Majority of people are literally now walking up and down with strep A. It doesn't cause any problem. But for some reason, the little ones are... It's affecting the little ones. So I said to her, in the vision, I mean, these people that were coming towards you, she said, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a woman in particular, really, that was holding the little one coming towards her. And I said, how in the vision? I said, what happened? It was a child sick. She said she couldn't tell. But she knows that 
the mom was just holding this baby going towards her. I said that something is up with that little one because the Lord gave you the scripture. Woe unto those who give suck in those days and woe unto those who are pregnant. And brothers and sisters, we are in those days. She says, watch this, and I, I just let my mom talk. She says, with the ailment that's going around, which, which I think she's referring to what I said concerning the strep A. She said the only way that they can overcome this is through prayer. No, I have not told my mom, hallelujah, to the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth. Hallelujah to your name, Lord. I have not told my mom and said, oh, mommy, you know what? I've done a video concerning prior that the only way that these little ones are going to be healed is through prior. I literally uploaded that video a couple of days ago saying this is how you're going to get around the strep A because it's demonic, it's hybrid. It's very wicked infirmity on the children. And my mom just said the way you're going to get around this is through prior. And I didn't have the conversation with her. She was just telling me what was on her heart. And I just, up until now, I didn't say to her, you know what, I've done the video. I just let you speak. In my spirit, I was just saying, Father, two witnesses, you are amazing. Prior, because the strep, see, people don't understand this. A strep A with the little one that's going on. I've done the video. It is demonic. It's an infirmity, brothers and sisters. Satan has hijacked. Come on, no church. The devil have hijacked the natural flora on our skin or the natural strep A that we can carry doesn't do us anything carry it in the back of your throat no problem he's ejected that so now it's becoming invasive so if you get it for some children it can be really really bad some of them have already died so one way to get around this yes we know the antibiotics and this and that it's prior so when my mom began to speak and she said the way to get around this is got to have to be through prayer and holy living by the parents. Because she said people only come to the most style or only call upon him or only know that he's about when they're in a pickle. When the children are sick, if they're sick, they need help, they say, God help me. But for the true deliverance to come through, people have to begin to live holy and righteous so that the prayers, the Bible tells you, the Bible says that the fervent, come on, no church, the fervent prayer of the righteous, what? Avail it much, which means that it has clarity. It has result. When you're holy, and righteous and you bow before the messiah and you begin to storm the gates of heaven and said father my child is not well please heal him he will hear you my mom gave me a scripture as well she was quoting it when i was talking to her oh lord i shall ask her again but she she gave the scripture concerning sick children and well, not really sick, but parents who are not of the Lord or who, are, who doesn't live right in the Lord. And they begin to pray and the Lord don't answer them because of the, the living, the lifestyle. Because you see, you cannot put a high in a box. You cannot take him out of a box when you want healing, you want something, and then put him back and then live wickedly. They have to be holy and righteous living. So it's very interesting that my mommy had this vision a month ago in November where she saw this woman coming up with the baby, with the child. We are in those days. St. Matthew 19, St. Matthew 24, verse 19. We are literally in those days, brothers and sisters. It says, what is woe? Whenever you see the Bible says woe, what does woe mean? Woe means mercy, Father. It means calamity. It means destruction. It means mayday, mayday. It means emergency. Oh, hallelujah. So this thing is going to happen quick and fast. Woe unto them that are with child, pregnant. 
and to them that give suck in those days. And when the Bible says suck in those days, you have to understand the language of the Bible. It's not really meaning babies on the breast alone. It means toddlers. You got to feed them. Three-year-old, four-year-old, five, six, seven, eight-year-old, nine-year-old. Children. All right, children, any children that you have to look after. Why would I say that? So apart from the mark of the beast that's going to be issuing in these days, in those days, right? It's also, I believe that the scripture is also talking about sicknesses, diseases, calamity. When little ones are world war, when little ones are caught up. In this situation. Woe unto them. This is a scripture. That the Lord gave me mom in the vision. When she saw the people walking with the baby towards her. Prayer. Because probably they're coming towards her for prayer. Coming, But the Lord gave her the scripture. Prayer. Prayer. My, my, my mom said it. She said prayer is what's going to save these children. And I've done the video. I've said it. Because the Lord showed me my spirit. That it is prayer. That will save these little ones from the so-called strep A that the wicked is running around with. But we know what's causing the strep A. We, we already know it already. It's a hybrid disease. Very sad, very bad, and very wicked. Very sad, very bad, and very, very wicked. Pray over your children. Don't be fearful. Do not be fearful when the dirty Caesars are come or if you read it in papers, wherever you get your news from and they're saying, oh, yes, well, you know, it's going up. Don't be fearful. Just know that you are protected and your children are protected. No weapon. Got to stand on the word. Ahaya loves when we challenge him. You know that. Ahaya. He loves when we use the word and said, Father, Ahaya, you said the fervent prayer of the righteous avail it much you said that you will perfect anything that concerns your children the righteous you said no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper but you only can claim these scriptures when you're holy if you're living wickedly you can't you, you, you just can't you, how you're not even living righteous and you're going to claim it's not going to work. That is paid to live holy. It really does. Really, really does pay to live holy and righteous. So that when situation comes up, hallelujah to the Lamb, you can rest assured that your king hears you. Powerful vision from my mom, isn't it? And she didn't even know right now that the strep A business is running through Babylon, UK. She don't know. I told her. But she had the vision. She saw them. She saw the people, the babies coming towards her. It's prayer. And maybe in the future in JA, right? Because, listen. Listen to me. If my mom was on YouTube, all these people will listen to me very, very carefully. I'm glad she's not on here. Of if my mommy had a YouTube channel, all these people who make videos about me calling me witch, that's exactly they would call me mom. They would. Because the anointing and the Holy Spirit that she carries inside is very strong. Powerful. Powerful. And people don't call her witch as well. But I remember back in the days. I don't know if they still do it now. Well, they probably will in a ways, but nothing is kicking off. But I remember back in the days, you used to hear at the door of our gates, Sister T. Sister T! Sister T, please come help! My baby is sick. Calling me mom for prayer. Hmm. And you see me mommy and me daddy running all the house. <laughs> yeah. Running out the house and we'll be back in a minute. Make sure you don't leave the house stay. I'm coming back. They run wherever up the line or next to wherever the sickness is affecting the kid, the child. And my mom and my dad would go storm the gates of heaven 
and that child is healed. Lots of it all the time. We used to get sick a lot when I was growing up. Every day I'm sick. And that's because, you know, all sort of going off, ain't it really? But anyways, prior. Yes, we got our little call, Paul, but it was were, it were prior. Prior, brothers, I know the effect of prior when it comes to these things. So I know that in time to come, it's going to start again when sickness starts to rub through for the little ones in J.H. I pray it doesn't. But I believe that the it's going to go there because it's caused by the moonshot. And a lot of little ones in J.A. have done the video. The parents are sending their little ones for the moonshot. Quite a few of them. So, this strep A will reach the Caribbean. It's no if, but, or maybe. It is going to reach. Oh, it starts in Babylon. All right? And then it's going to reach. Um, so, prior is going to be the key. Prior is going to be the key. So, I feel as well that my mom is going to get busy again. And they're going to come and call for her. She's in her 80s. May the most I give her longevity. Honestly, mama. May her higher. Hallelujah. You know, when they reach that age, you know, 83, 84, 85, you know, you really like. But I pray that Haya gives her longevity. I really do. I really, really do. Pray she comes in the wilderness with us as well. But it's, a, it's in our highest hands. Glory be to the most high. So yeah, so, so I wanted to share this vi vision concerning my mom and what she saw concerning the little ones, brothers and sisters. I have to be vigilant, I have to be sober and learn how to pray. Very, very, very important. Prayer, hallelujah, to the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth is the key. All right? Okay, so if you come to the end of the video, you have not accepted your sire, as the Lord and Savior, please say the sinner's prayer after me. Um, no, not yet. We're going to talk about strep A. Isn't it? I've done that one, ain't it? Yeah, this is a video that I've done concerning strep A and prayer. The prayer is a key. Cap 20. Alim. I beg your pardon, brothers and sisters. Okay. Alim Jamar. Sandra Logan. Rosalind Philip. Rosalyn Swaby, Eunice uh, Makita, Eunice Makita, all right, Antoinette Gorman, Laurel Williams, Renita Miller, Donna Ramsey, Natasha Chambers, uh, Faust, Faustina Bula, Edna Gaiasi, I said so, <laughs> Ed Lucohin, Chris Black, Laurel Williams, Nini Mamin, Nini Mamin, yes, Shalom 4277, Louise. Audi Wheeler, uh, Sylvia Trotter, and Renovate DMV. All right, those are the top 20 beautiful beloved in the most uh, higher concerning that video. Oh, just before going further, oh, what's going on? Normally there's a number, isn't it? Oh, you see, at, for instance, at Blue Lily or at Pay the Todd, but there's no at. So what's going on up there? Okay, all right, not to worry. All right, so those are the top 20 beautiful beloved. All right. Um, if you come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Desire as the Lord and Savior. Please say this in this prayer after me. The Desire the Christ, I know that you are the son of Ahaya, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah have died on the cross for my sins. Um, Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me, and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahaya. Amen. Um uh, Yesiah, King of Glory, I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins. 
and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways. Ahaya, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe, I thank you, Ahaya, I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesaya. And I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, you believe it with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. We believe in Acts 2 verse 38 where the Bible talks about repentance. You now need to find a man of the most higher asking him to fully baptize you fully dunk in water. Spiritual transformation. When you go down in water, you see that you say that on the cross you believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most high raised you out of the water, you are raised into new life. You're raised into the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection. Beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya just like Enoch. All praises all beautiful praises to the most high who lives above the heavens, Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon someday in glory. In Yesai's holy name, amen and amen. Let's say the benediction, Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, Bible reads, Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise, Yesaya, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion, power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.